Hi, I'm Adam Burrell, Barry and Makeup Ambassador, and I'm going to show you how to create a soft bronze look using the Natural Glow palette. And with that, I'm going to add an orange lip. This is a really popular red carpet look that I've seen on actresses like Jessica Alba and Scarlett Johansson, because it's really flattering, beautiful and wearable. I'm going to start by applying the Flawless Matte Finish Foundation. When applying the foundation, it's important to actually look where you need the foundation. So starting in the centre of the face, where there's a lot of redness, that's where it usually needs the most coverage. And then you can just sheerly blend it out to the edge, where it tends to be a lot more clearer. Once I've applied the foundation, I just like to buff it to give a really polished glow. I'm now going to brighten the under eye area using the Imperfection Correction Pen, shade number one. I'm going to start by putting this into the very corner, which is the darkest part. And then with a fluffy brush, I'm going to buff that and blend it out. This is also a great concealer for covering any blemishes. Flawless matte finish foundation doesn't need any powder, so I'm just going to leave it at that with a nice natural sheen. I'm going to start the eye with a super soft eye crayon in number two as a base. So I'm going to apply this all along the lash line. A nice thick line that you can then blend out over the entire lid. And start with something slightly creamy. It's going to make sure that you get the best out of your eyeshadow and that it goes on nice and pigmented. And you're just winging that out and over the lid. So really make sure that you work the pencil right into the root of the lashes. from the Natural Glow palette, I'm going to use this golden shade and I'm going to press that over the top of the eye crayon. So how far up or out you blend your eyeshadow depends on whether you want your eye to look more winged or more rounded. So just press the eyeshadow onto where you put the pencil on the lid blending it up and out. I'm just using my finger to soften the edges. So I'm just going to use the darker brown shade in the palette and I'm going to define the socket. I'm doing this using a small domed brush. I'm going to blend it out using a bigger fluffy brush. You're just applying the product into the crease and then blending it out, focusing mostly on the outer edge. I'm now going to define the top lash line using the waterproof gel eyeliner. This comes with a little brush in the lid. So I'm just going to make a really thin line all the way along at the root of the lashes. So it's not really an eyeliner, it's just going to define and darken the lash line. And I'm just making little strokes all the way along. To finish, I'm going to use a few coats of Lash Modeling Extra Black Mascara. And I'm just starting at the root and wiggling my way up the lash. This is the perfect day mascara for pretty, clean and nicely separated lashes. And the wand on this brush is perfect for separating your lashes. 
Always remember to work the mascara into the inside and outside corners, getting all those little lashes that people tend to miss. And the brush on this mascara makes applying it to the bottom lashes really easy. I'm just going to add a bit of warmth, a bit of definition, and some Hollywood glow to the skin using the Natural Dazzle Bronzer. Find this where the sun would naturally hit, so that's just on the forehead and on the cheeks to find those cheekbones. Put down the nose and on the chin, and just making sure that you buff it and blend it all together, and not forgetting your neck. And from the same natural glow palette, I'm going to use the blush just to give a little bit of colour to the cheeks. And if you smile, I'm just dusting that over the apples of the cheeks and up over the cheekbones. And this is a really natural pink colour. It's also got a slight sheen to it to really catch the light. Now you could finish the look here just adding a natural lip gloss or a neutral lipstick. I'm going to go all out using a lip lacquer crayon, number three, Mandarin. finished red carpet look inspired by Jessica Albert created using the natural growth palette.